This is Matt for Into Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Paddy Donovan. Paddy, before we start, do you need your brush? You know you're doing your hair? Oh, oh good. I think I look good. I don't <laughs> think I got hit that much, so I'm happy. Uh, you spoke to me yesterday and you said that you want to put on a world-class performance. Were you world-class in there tonight? Shades of it? Yes, I believe so. Uh, I think that's a pitch-perfect performance for me. I executed everything I wanted to do, everything I didn't get in, the get in training. Um, I displayed it tonight, so I have no complaints. I'm really happy with my performance. My coach is happy. When they're happy, I'm happy. We're all happy. He was tough in there tonight. You seemed to hit him with a barrage of punches. At some point, I thought he was gonna, he's not going to last, but he just kept coming and coming. Uh, a lot of respect for that opponent in there tonight. Yeah, very tough, very very durable opponent. Very um, tight defence, very hard to break down, very uh, compact. So the jab was good when I started to hit him with the jab gradually opened up his defence and when I started to open up the defence the left up because right hook started to work and the body shot so as I said everything I uh uh, was told to do, I executed it perfectly. Is that what you needed in there tonight? Someone who will go the rounds with you? Because we've seen you before, I've seen you behind closed doors. As soon as you hit them, they tend to just fold away. But that guy tonight, obviously, was there, he was durable. Is that what you need? Someone who will take you a few more rounds so you can show off a, you know, a few more of your skills? Yeah, look, he came to win. He had sporting fights and nine knockouts, so he's no bum. He isn't there for the paycheck. He came to win. And he threw the kitchen sink at me, but obviously, um, today I was, it was a pitch perfect performance and um, them kind of fighters are very hard to break down, they're very compact as I said. Yeah, they're survived, about, didn't it? So they're about one of the hardest fighters that you can, uh, you can box. If he's tall, you can see the shots more, if he's a bit open, you can land a bit more shots, but these guys are very compact and, and it takes a while to get to them and that's exactly what I did, was keep working and doing what I was told and got to him. What's Andy Lee said about your performance, obviously he's been there, seen there and done it, um, is he pleased with it? Yeah, Andy said that was one of the best performances he's ever seen in his whole entire career. He believes that uh, today I was absolutely world class. He's one of the best I've ever been today, so I'm happy when he's happy, so yeah. no complaints. Yeah. Um, looking at the last year, obviously we touched on it before, you've had, you've had a horrendous previous 12 months with people that you've lost. Was that sort of nice to get back out to being back doing what you do so you can fully focus on boxing and not take your mind off it, but put all your energy into you know, doing what you do? Yeah, so I use that big kind of energy and that bad feelings and I kind of turned into motivation and uh, pushed through a tough period of my life. I kept it in the gym, I kept that, uh, turned that anger into a positive feeling and that's exactly what I did tonight. I showed my, my, my bad feelings, my anger and I put it into a performance and that just came rightly together and I'm so happy with it. So. What are you looking for for the rest of the year? Are you just looking to stay active, stay in the gym and get a few more fights, a few more learning fights before you shoot off and start fighting for titles? Well, they, they, they want me to come to New York, so we just got a message they want yeah. to come to New York. We got a few guys from Top Rank that are asking us to go to New York, so... Um, yeah, it's upper, upwards and onwards now, you know what I mean? I know how far I can go, I know where I'm going to go, I know who I'm signed with, I know who I have behind me, and it's up to me if I keep training and keep disciplined and keep active, um, I'm going to be very hard to beat. Is that, one, is that a big tick box for you to go fight in New York and fight in the American platforms to showcase yourself, not just to fans over here, but to build that American audience? Because obviously a big Irish contingency over in New York, I'm sure they'll get behind you. Yeah, it's big everywhere. Look, I've fought in England uh, a good few times in my career so far. I've fought in Scotland, my second fight in Scotland. So it's time to go to the other side of the pond now and start to... Uh, I spread my name a little bit across to the country over there and get known and get and build my name, build my record and that's where I want to make my status over in New York, Las Vegas, so that's my goal. And finally, last one from me, have you got a message for all the fans, family who have come to support you? I know you had a good few people in here tonight giving you a lot of backing, have you got a message for them? Yes, thank you very much for everyone that came and supported me, I really appreciate it from my heart and everyone back home, thank you in Limerick City and all my fans back in Ireland, thank you. I just want to say one thing. Um, this, this was dedicated to a girl called Leah Canton and that passed away a couple of days ago in Limerick City, so just 17 years old, so I dedicate this win to her. You're a class act. Thanks for talking to Interboxing. Appreciate your time. Thank you.